Almost one third of North America's bird population has decreased since 1970. The question is, why? An article recently published in the journal Science reported an alarming statistic. The number of birds the United States and Canada has decreased by 29% in the last 50 years. We're not just talking about birds that um, are considered endangered or threatened, but birds that were once relatively common that people might see in their backyard or in the forest um, have decreased in numbers. Susan Gallagher, chief naturalist at the Carbon County Environmental Education Center, says the decline is inadvertently caused by humans. Just to give you an example, uh, American Bird Conservancy estimates that about one billion, and that's billion with a B, about one billion birds a year in the United States alone are killed by colliding with glass. One billion birds are also killed by feral cats. Other non-direct ways people are affecting the bird population is with the introduction of non-native plants and pesticides that impact the insects birds feed on. Telephone and industrial wind towers also affect bird migration and can even cause some birds to be electrocuted. The Carbon County Environmental Education Center is also a wildlife rehabilitation center. And Gallagher says the most common type of injury she sees is animals hit by cars. Um, very rarely do we see birds that are just sick with some sort of disease or some sort of naturally occurring uh, hazard for them. Most of the animals that come here come here because of some kind of man-made hazard. Gallagher says the good news is there's a lot a person can do to prevent further decline of the bird population. Well, one of the best things you can do is to just um, maybe set up a bird feeder in your backyard, feed responsibly. People can also use organic food or buy decals to help birds realize that it's a window instead of a passageway to go through. There's also a phone app called Songbird Saver that could potentially make a difference. It tracks where towers or other sources of light that can disorient birds and migration are located. You find where these towers are um, and you can also find out who owns and is responsible for those towers and you can encourage them to change over from a steady nighttime light to a flashing uh, light at night can cut down by about 70 percent the uh, mortality of birds hitting into those towers. In Summit Hill, Rafe Dejanaswamy, Eyewitness News.